Everybody. Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Buenas noches. ¿Cómo están? Can you hear me? ¿Me pueden escuchar? Yes, teacher. Yes, sir. Excellent. Very good. Yes. Excellent. It's good to have you here today. So today, as I said before, as I said yesterday, we are going to continue with the section number four. So I'm going to introduce with you what I have uh, regarding to the platform in order that you can uh, see what we are working on. So can you watch my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes. Okay, perfect. So for today, we are going to start with the 4.0 lesson objective. Thank you. Uh, in this lesson objective, we are going to learn about clothes and vocabulary, particularly clothes uh, which you wear for work and leisure, right? Work and, uh, and leisure. Leisure is the free time, like vacation, right? Um, estamos hablando de que eh, el, cuando hablamos de leisure time, estamos hablando del tiempo de ocio, ¿verdad? Del tiempo de vacación. Eh, también vamos a aprender acerca del verbo wear, to wear. Eh, lo voy a poner en silencio para que podamos escucharnos en la primera parte, and then you will interact eh, in the breakout rooms. Eh, so, for this lesson, you have a video where you will learn uh, about the formal uh, clothes for work, clothes for leisure. And then we are going to advance until the 4.2 lesson objective that says in this class you will learn uh, the colors and how this topic is used in daily life. So yesterday we learned that colors are also adjectives, right? Ayer aprendimos que los colores también eh, son adjetivos, ¿verdad? And they help us to qualify some nouns. Y nos ayudan a calificar algunos nombres. So for the colors, uh, in the platform, you have this conversation between Pat and Julie. And they are talking about um, the color of different pieces of clothes. So you can go and watch the video uh, then many, many times until you can get all the content of the video that you can pronounce, all the new words you have there and that you can um, train your ear on how to pronounce those words on, or, or how those words are pronounced by American native English. Uh, so um, for tomorrow, we are going to continue with the possessives. So I'm going to stop sharing. Voy a dejar de compartir. Uh, so let me share the screen that I have for you. Okay, let me see. Okay, this is the presentation that I have for you tonight. Uh, we are going to learn, as I said before, about the clothes vocabulary. So I will hide myself. Me voy a esconder un poquito. Uh, so here, uh, basically, you will see some uh, clothing vocabulary. I have different for, in this case, for ladies and for, uh, for men, yeah? For women and for men. Uh, so, see, I have here a suit. Lo voy a volver a poner un ratito en silencio. Uh, so whenever you want to, to speak, you can uh, open your mics. So here, I have a suit. A suit is a formal uh, a piece of cloth that is composed by a blazer and a skirt. We have the v-neck t-shirt, the button down shirt, we have a blouse, we have shorts, we have a jacket, uh, we have a cargo pants, we have the short sleeve baseball t-shirt, uh, we have pants, a tank top, a ruffle skirt, a short sleeve skirt, a shirt, pump heels. Pumps or heels, right? They can be both. Eh, pueden ser pumps or pueden ser heels. Both are correct. Shirt, jeans, shorts, a baseball t-shirt, polo shirt, jeans, sweat, um, sweatpants. Those are for doing, uh, to work out or to do some physical exercise shorts, 
running shoes, t-shirt, long sleeve uh, shirt. Vea que el long sleeve se refiere a la manga, ¿verdad? Long sleeve shirt. And then we have here, for example, short sleeve shirt, right? Uh, pants or trousers, hiking boots, uh, crop jeans, bikini, hoodie jacket, evening gown, bathing suit or swimsuit. Both uh, names are, sign uh, are synonyms of the same piece of clothes. Camps, camp shirt, jean skirt, and pants. So this is a very uh, wide group of clothing. So let me go to the next. Okay, the next uh, is uh, mostly for ladies, right? We have here the wedding dress, a dress, jeans, swimsuit, long coat, gym clothes, sweater, t-shirt, bra, tank top, shorts, uniform, long sleeve top, skirt, coat, dress pants, thong. Uh, in this case, you can call it underwear, right? Underwear hoodie, shirt dress, and a t-shirt. Here I have more. I have, this is for men, right? Sweater, shirt, jeans, gloves, cap, suit, Hawaiian shirt, singlet, business shoes, flip-flops, shorts, cardigan, jacket, sport shoes, bow tie, Sleeveless skirts, uh, shirt, excuse me, Sle uh, sleeveless shirt. So if you see when you, we say sleeveless, estamos diciendo sin sleeves, but that without sleeves, sin mangas. Vest, long sleeve top, polo shirt, jumper, blazer, swimsuit, cargo pants, bathrobe, trench coat. So here uh, we have more. Those are more than clothes, they are accessories. So you use them combined with, with your clothes, right? So we have boots, mittens, hat, swimsuit, socks, dress, skirt, gloves, jacket, shoes, t-shirt, shorts, trousers, jeans, jumper, cap, glasses, pajamas, scarf. And here I have more. Again, the, the shirt, the sweater, the jacket, the pants, the dress, the shorts, the skirt, the socks, the sneakers or shoes, sandals. In the other uh, presentation, it said flip-flops. Flip it's the same. Hat or cap, tie, bow tie, glasses, winter hat, so the difference uh, is that this is for winter, this is warmer. Mittens, boots, scarf, sunglasses, watch, necklace, umbrella. So here um, I have a, like a short uh, presentation where it says, today I'm wearing, today she's wearing. Vea que el verbo wear se refiere a traer puesto, ¿verdad? Everything that is on my body, even the accessories, I'm wearing. For example, I can say, I'm wearing my, my watch, I'm wearing my earrings, I'm wearing my, I'm wearing my headphones. So everything that is in my body, I'm wearing. Todo lo que yo llevo puesto en mi cuerpo se dice wearing, de usar, ¿verdad? Wear. El verbo base es wear. Y en este caso yo digo, I'm wearing. Uh, for example, I'm going to restart the video and I can say, for today, let me see if you can see me. Let's see. Yes. For today, I'm wearing my glasses. I'm wearing my purple he um, headphones. I'm wearing my purple uh, boots, right? I'm wearing. Estoy usando, ¿verdad? En este momento, pero de llevar puesto. No se dice use or using, ¿verdad? Porque cuando yo utilizo el verbo use or using, I'm talking about an object. Es cuando yo voy a utilizar un objeto, ¿verdad? Eh, que hablo de usar, utilizar. Pero cuando yo quiero decir que llevo puesto algo, yo utilizo el verbo wear, to wear. En este caso, I'm wearing. Lo estoy usando en este momento, ¿verdad? Right now. También puedo decir today she is wearing, today he is wearing. 
El otro verbo que le quiero presentar es put on. Put on es cuando yo eh, me, me pongo, ¿verdad? Me, me visto, me pongo encima. Eh, put on my, eh, por ejemplo, for example, in the morning I put on my clothes. En la mañana me pongo la, mi ropa, ¿verdad? I put on my dress, me pongo mi vestido. Eh, sentence number two, she goes out, she puts on her cap. O puede ser, yes, her cap. Eh, ella, eh, cuando ella sale, se pone su gorra, ¿verdad? When he goes to bed, he puts on his pajamas. Cuando él va a la cama, él se pone su pijama. When they go dancing, they put on their shoes. Cuando ellos van a bailar, ellos se ponen sus zapatos. Mom said, put on your gloves before you go outside. Mamá dijo, ponte tus guantes antes que salga, ¿verdad? So, uh, today I have this exercise for you. And I would like that you can say, uh, today I am wearing, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer algo así. Eh, solo déjenme avanzar un poquito con esto. Ok. Eh, vamos a avanzar un poco con esta conversación. I would like that you can take a picture of this. Me gustaría que puedan tomar uh, una foto de esto. ¿Verdad? And then, we are going to talk about how do we dress. Cómo nos vestimos, ¿verdad? Cómo nos vestimos para ir a trabajar. Pero antes de eso, eh, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Eh, solo déjenme un segundo. Quiero dejar un momento de compartir para, eh, para decirles lo que vamos a hacer. Ok. Eh, close to this, eh, we are going, I would like that you can say this. For example, today, eh, como yo les dije, vamos a, voy a compartir de nuevo la pantalla. Solo déjenme. Aquí está. Ok. So, I would like that you can do something like this. Me gustaría que hiciéramos algo como esto, ¿verdad? Today, yo les dije today, I am wearing, or puedo decir I'm wearing, right? I'm wearing my, y usted me dice, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo está vestido? Sí, today I'm wearing my, y quiero que le ponga el color. Por ejemplo, yo le dije, my purple, my purple boots. My glasses. And my brown pants. Ok, this is me. Eso es como yo estoy vestida hoy, ¿verdad? Today I'm wearing, and I'm saying what I'm wearing today. So, I would like that you can confirm if you're watching my screen. ¿Pueden confirmarme si están viendo lo que acabo de escribir? Yes, teacher. Okay, so, please, I would like that you can take a picture of this. Me gustaría que tomen una imagen de esto. Y en la primera parte del breakout room vamos a hacer este. Luego vamos a trabajar el otro. Ok. Eh, eh, teacher, ahí sería, hoy estoy usando mi blusa morada, digamos. Sí, sí. Eh, ajá. Sí, sería today, my, gla my glasses serían los normales, ¿verdad? Porque no son sunglasses. No, no son sunglasses, son mis, okay. mis lentes normales. Y le dije, okay. my brown pants, mis pantalones uh -huh. café. ¿Verdad? Okay. Ahí yo podría haber agregado, I'm wearing my eh, black sandals, estoy usando mis sandalias negras, ¿verdad? Eh, es decir, un poco de escribir. What I'm wearing today. ¿Qué estoy eh, utilizando este día, verdad? Si usted ah, se okay. dice, yo dije, today I'm wearing, ¿verdad? Estoy utilizando el verbo con ING, que es algo de lo que vamos a estudiar más adelante. Luego dije, my purple blues, un posesivo, ¿verdad? My. Sí. Eh, utilicé un color, ¿verdad? Ya vimos que eh, los adjetivos van eh, primero, ¿verdad? En este caso, el color y luego el noun, ¿verdad? My purple blues, mi blusa morada. Eh, my glasses, ¿verdad? En este caso, si usted quiere decir lentes de sol, solo le agrega sunglasses. Sunglasses. And my brown pants. 
aquí podría haberle agregado otros accesorios, ¿verdad? Pero lo vamos a dejar así, eh, okay. sencillito. Eh, so, I would like that you can go to the breakout rooms. Voy a, a mandarles ahora a los breakout rooms. And eh, I would like that you can talk about this. Me gustaría que ustedes puedan eh, conversar acerca de esto, ¿verdad? Eh, o pueden decir, ¿verdad? Eh, pueden utilizar el ejemplo que está ahí, en number one, that says, dice, today I am wearing, o today, o in the morning I put on my, y puede decir la pieza, ¿verdad? Que se puso. Entonces, eh, I'm going to share this other example. And I will share with you um, the pictures. Y le voy a mandar las, las fotos, ¿verdad? The pictures of the vocabulary. Las fotos del vocabulario. So let me, I will move my, okay. If you're ladies, vamos a mandar para las chicas, for ladies. Just let me take the picture. If you want to take the picture, it's okay. And for men. Y para los chicos, ¿verdad? Ok, so let me send it to you. Ok, there you go. Ahí va. Um, ok. Did you get them? ¿Los tienen? Okay, all of them are in the chat. Todos están en el chat, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Voy a dejar de compartir because I would like to take my picture about your assistance, your attendance. Okay, thank you very much. You look so great today. Okay, excellent. So let me send you to the breakout rooms. So we are 15 in order to have, uh, we are going to have five of three people. Ok, please join to the invitation. Por favor, una sea la invitación. Hello, hello. Everything okay here? Todo bien por acá? Hola. Hola, hola. Hola, ¿Se han podido comunicar, chicos? Hola. Ahí está. Okay. So here we are, Kathy, eh, Grisela, and Freddy, right? Okay. Do you have questions about the exercise? Tenemos preguntas acerca del ejercicio? No, 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 right? Okay, okay. If there's no question, I will go to other groups. Si no hay preguntas, me voy al siguiente grupo and then I will come back later. Y regreso más tardecito, okay? Okay. See you, see you later. Hello, hello. Is everything okay here? La conversación que envió WhatsApp. Hola, hola. ¿Todo hola. bien? ¿Tenemos preguntas? Eh, básicamente lo que vamos a hacer es describir cómo estamos vestidos este día, ¿verdad? Eh, entonces la idea es que utilicen el ejemplo que les mandé de Today I am wearing y ustedes describen, ¿verdad? The vocabulary is in the pictures that I sent you. El vocabulario está en las imágenes que les mandé, ¿verdad? Por eso les mandé para damas y para caballeros. Ok, teacher. Is everything ok? ¿Todo bien? Ok, yes. Excellent. See you later. Bye. Bye. Si quieren comer, <laughs> empiezo yo. Okay. Hello. Is everything okay here? Todo bien por acá? 
Eh, una pregunta, ¿lo de la conversación o lo hacemos algo corto así como se lo hizo? Es algo sí. corto, solo es describirle a sus compañeros cómo están vestidos hoy, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Today I am wearing, ¿verdad? That's it, only that. Y después vamos a hacer la otra parte de la conversación. Today is just describing how and, and say today I'm wearing this and that. Okay. Okay, you. extra questions? No? No. No. Okay, see you later. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, hello. Is everything okay here? No, teacher. Yes. Okay, uh, basically what you have to do is describe uh, how um, how are you, uh, what are you wearing today, right? So you say today I am wearing this and this and that, okay? Okay. Yes, yes. Excellent, see you later. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, sí, eso sí, son varios. Yo, yo algunos no sabía cómo, cómo, se, cómo se pronunciaba. Especial sí. las prendas de, de las Pero señoritas. Ajá, esas, esas son más. Hey. Hello, son... hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Everything okay here? ¿Todo bien por aquí, chicos? Sí, 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 sí. hace un momento Excelente. terminamos de, de hacerla. ¿Ya terminaron? Sí, sí, yes. ya terminamos. Excellent, excellent. The idea is that you can describe uh, what are you wearing today. La idea es que puedan describir cómo están vestidos ahora, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll call you back in a minute. Le llamo en un minutito, okay? No, you, okay. see you later. Excellent, teacher. see you later. Hello, welcome back. How was the practice? ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? Were you able to describe yourself? ¿Pudieron describirse cómo están vestidos o vestidas? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. I would like to hear you. Me gustaría escucharlos. Uh, since we are just a few, uh, no somos muchos esta noche, so I would like to hear you. Me gustaría escucharlos. So who would like to start? ¿A quién le gustaría comenzar? Yo sería voluntario para, para empezar. Ok, Emanuel, please, go ahead, adelante. Bueno, ahorita, entonces, aquí está um, como, como ando vestido. Yes. Hola, hola, sí. Ajá, puedo. Ajá. Ahí está. Ah, bueno, sería, Today I am wearing my blue polo shirt and my favorite pants. Excellent, very good. Thank you, Emanuel. Thank you. Ah. Ok, who else? ¿Quién más? Uh, my. Um, okay. Today I'm wearing uh, my white shirt mm -hmm. and uh, my pants, and I wearing my pants, and uh, I wearing mm -hmm. uh, a pairs a pair uh, white socks. Okay. And um, uh, I wearing the sh uh, black shoes. Excellent, very good, a very complete description, Carlos. Thank you very much. Okay, who else? Who wants to continue with the presentation? Yo, since, uh, okay, teacher. please, adelante, go ahead. Today, today I'm wearing my black clothes, mm -hmm. my glasses, and my blue canvas skirt. Excellent, excellent, very good description, my dear. Ophelia, right? Yes. Sí, ok. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Dina Ofelia. Ok, who wants to continue? ¿Quién quiere continuar? Yo, teacher. Adelante. Today I am wearing my take top blues, 
Mm -hmm. my glasses and my blue pants your blue pants thank you clelia thank you very much okay Ther teresa would you like to continue hello hello my dear can you hear us nos puede escuchar ahí está hello me escucha yes yes perfectly okay vamos a ver qué me ahorita Eh, yo acabo de entrar. No, ah, no estoy... Sorry, Teresa. What we are doing is describing how we are, what we are wearing today. Estamos describiendo cómo no, estamos vestidos ahora. Y yo le dije, today I am wearing my purple blues, my glasses, and my brown pants. Eh, I send you to the WhatsApp group the vocabulary. Les envié al grupo de WhatsApp el vocabulario. Si gusta, revise las imágenes para que usted pueda armar En la breve descripción de cómo está vestida y la dejo para el final, ¿le parece? Me parece, gracias. Dale. Excellent, excellent. Okay, Billy Vega, would you like to continue, my friend? Ahorita voy, Sonia. Permítame okay. un momentito. Ahorita, ahorita. Today, me am wearing my black singer. Uh -huh. My glass and... Um, Green jeans. Green jeans. Jeans. Uh -huh. jeans. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Billy. Okay, Carlos Bonilla, would you like to continue? Mm -hmm. No sé si Carlos ya había participado. Creo que no. <coughs> Yo sí. <laughs> sí, sí, Carlos. Sí, verdad. Okay. Adelante. Yo no he participado. ¿Ya había participado, Carlos? No, no, teacher. Ah, ok. Adelante, Carlos. Adelante. Today I'm wearing my, my gray sleeve shirt uh -huh. and my, my black shirt. Excellent. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you very much. Katy Ramírez. No sé si Katy, creo que todavía no. Hello. Hello, Katy. morning. Mm -hmm. And so my short, my orange short and orange. Only that. Only that. Okay, thank you, Katy. Grisela, no sé si Grisela ya había participado. ¿Me, me corrige, Grisela? No, aún no he participado. Ok, please, Grisela, could you please describe how, uh, what are you wearing today? Ok, today I'm wearing my t-shirt, my black t-shirt, and my orange, my glasses red, uh -huh. and my long Ok, excelente, thank you. Eh, solo recuerden que agregamos el color primero, ¿verdad? Sí, antes de la prenda. Ok, thank you, thank you. Uh, my dear Freddy, I don't know, no estoy segura si Freddy ya había participado. Hi, my dear. No, no. Oh, no, no yet. Eh, ok, could you please you. Share, uh, share with us uh, what are you wearing today? Today I'm wearing my yellow shirt, mm -hmm. my brown shirt, mm -hmm. and black spur shoes. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, who else is missing? Hay alguien que me falte, chicos, sin pena que me diga porque per, me, no sé si me he saltado, salteado. Yo falto, teacher. Adelante, Manuel, Manuel adelante. Okay, teacher. This, today I am wearing. Mm -hmm. I am wearing. Mm -hmm. My shirt is brown. Mm -hmm. My glasses. My, mm -hmm. my shirt. Mm -hmm. My shirt white. My white shirt. La camisa my blanca. Aha, white, uh -huh, white shirt. Aha. Uh -huh. White shirt. My glass. Mm -hmm. My glasses. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and flip flu wooden. Excellent. 
Thank you, Manuel. You are so comfortable. Está bien cómodo, Manuel. Thank you very much. Excellent. <laughs> and let's see, Teresa. Vamos a ver si Teresa logró. Hello, Teresa. Salto yo también. Can you share with us? Okay, Kevin, adelante, oh, Kevin. Buenas noches, hello. Hi, hello, Teresa. Eh, creo que sí. Va. Adelante. Eh, ¿Toda está? La, la perdimos, Teresa. What am I? Black blouse. My am. Um, sí, me escuchan. Sí, ahora sí. Eh, dijo uh, today I'm wearing my black. Okay, Teresa, could you repeat that again? Blouse. Okay. okay. My clouds. My class. Mm -hmm. Glasses. On my to that. I, I am wearing my black blouse, mm -hmm. my clacks, my, my clack. Mm -hmm. um, I, no sé qué te lo hice bien. Eh, yeah, eh, I think that, eh, creo que dijo su reloj, ¿verdad? Si era reloj, en este caso my sería... Ah, uh, blouse, dijo blouse. My red blouse. Ah, uh -huh. solamente. Ok, thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Ok, uh, Kevin. Kevin, could you please continue? Thank you, Teresa. Sí, sí. Ok. Today I am waiting my blue singlet mm -hmm. and my black jeans and my flick 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 flocks mm -hmm. and is it and that's it okay thank you thank you very much excellent you did a great job uh, okay nobody's missing right nadie se me queda verdad <coughs> no okay Negativo. excellent quien dijo yo perdón yo, teacher. Adelante, solo que no veo quién dijo yo, perdón, el nombre. Ahí está, Glenda. Adelante, Glenda. Today I'm wearing my pink dress, uh -huh. my glass, and my favorite earring. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Ok, my dears, I'm going to mute you. Lo voy a silenciar un ratito porque había bastante interferencia. Thank you very much. You did a great job by describing what are you wearing today. Okay? So, uh, to continue uh, in this topic, we have also to, to talk about or to work on colors, right? So, this is the complement of this class. Esta clase la vamos a complementar hablando de colores, ¿verdad? Porque es parte eh, del tema. This, this is united to the topic. So you, you may know that we have eh, basic colors. And, for example, if you eh, add yellow plus red, you have orange. If you have yellow plus blue, you have green. If you have yellow plus, I mean, yes, in this case it's red. Aquí hay un error. It's red plus blue, it's violet. So, we have the primary colors like uh, uh, yellow, right? Blue is a primary color. And then we have the secondary colors like orange. Uh, red is a primary. Uh, violet is a secondary. And green is a secondary. And then we have the tertiary colors. Tertiary is because you mix different colors. Cuando ya vamos mezclando, tenemos los terciarios, ¿verdad? Si tenemos yellow green, blue green, blue violet, red violet, red orange, and yellow orange, for example. So here you have the primary, yellow, red, and blue, the secondary, orange, violet, and green, and the tertiary, the mixed one, like yellow orange, red orange, red violet, blue violet, blue green, and yellow green. Here I have more. Uh, we have here black, brown, gray, and gray. Vean que se pronuncia igual, solo que en el, en el uh, British English you say, you write it with a A, 
and in the American English with an E, but it's the same. White, yellow, orange, red, pink, purple, blue, and green. And here we have very sophisticated colors. For example, blue, red, purple, yellow, pink, green, orange, lime, aqua, navy, coral, teal, mustard, blue, violet, black, white, gray, brown, dark green, blue, gray, indigo, pea, green, amber, peach, maroon. And here we have a lot of colors uh, which are very uh, special in a, and special palette, like white, natural, ivory, of white. Uh, cuando vean este LT in colors is light, verdad? Como como suave, verdad? Light tan, to pay block, black, excuse me, metallic bronze. Ese BRT es brilliant, brilliant yellow, como amarillo brillante, verdad? Brilliant yellow, marigold, brilliant orange, rusty, dusty rose, brown, fuchsia, metallic ash, pink, peach, hot pink. Brilliant red, crimson, plum, purple, baby blue, brilliant blue, cornflower blue, royal blue, light navy, dark, este DK is dark, dark navy, lavender, lilac, mint, celery, lime green, spring green, jay, teal, hunter green, pumpkin, china blue, pale yellow, uh, medium navy, también tenemos este med es medium, right? Uh, Mose green, sage, emerald. Those are very, um, let's see, excuse me. Those are very sophisticated colors. So what we are going to do now, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahora? Uh, we are going to go back to the breakout rooms and now we are going to practice by sharing if we wear, vamos a compartir si usamos, if we wear or not, for example, a uniform, right? Um, in this case, uh, I have this short conversation that says, what is your favorite color? If you ask me, my answer is my favorite color is blue. How do you dress to go to work? If you ask me, I can say, uh, I wear formal clothes like blues, pants, or skirt, a blazer, and a dress. Uh, I wear high heels. If you ask me, do you wear a uniform? I say, no, I don't wear a uniform. I wear a suit. What color is your uniform? If you use a uniform, maybe you can describe the color of the blues, the pants, uh, and then you can conclude the conversation by, by saying, what is your son's or daughter's favorite color? Okay. Um, I have already sent to you the, 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 the slide. Ya les envía su WhatsApp, ¿verdad? La imagen. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos a tener una conversación corta, ¿verdad? We are going to talk about what is our favorite color. And how do you dress to go to work? Y cómo eh, se, se visten, ¿verdad? Para ir a trabajar. If it's formal clothes, clothes casual clothes, um, if you can describe it. And uh, what color is it is? And what's the favorite color of your sons or, or daughter, if you have? Do you have questions on this? ¿Tenemos preguntas acerca de esto que vamos a hacer? No? Nothing. Okay, if there are no questions, so let me uh, send you back to the breakout rooms. Vamos a ir entonces de nuevo a los breakout rooms. So let me see here. Let's see. Okay, so again. Please join to the invitation. Por favor, únase a la invitación. Let's see if I have someone that is not joined or added to this.
Hello, hello, everything okay? Todo bien por acá? Hola, teacher. Verdad que hay que cambiar este la, la información con. Sí, yes, of course, by your own information, con su propia información. So what you can do is that maybe you, Freddy, can ask to eh, Grisela. ¿Verdad? Usted le puede preguntar a Grisela. Eh, luego Grisela le pregunta a Katy y Katy le pregunta a usted. Al final cerramos el círculo y todos hicieron preguntas y dieron sus propias respuestas. ¿Ya? Yeah? Okay. So you will have extra minutes. I will give you five minutes for this activity. Le voy a dar de cuatro a cinco minutos para esta actividad para que todos tengan la posibilidad de contestar. Ok. Ok, see you later. Bye bye. practicamos ah, sí, si, gusta. si no se nos va a terminar el tiempo bueno, si gusta le voy a preguntar yo y usted responde santo dios pregúnteme what is your favorite color my, my favorite color is green es my favorite favorite favorite, favorite. Ajá. This color is green. Okay. How do you dress to go to work? Wear formal cloth, clothes like gloves. Do you wear? Do you uniform? wear uniform? Uniform. Uniform. Um, uniform. No, I don't know wear a uniform. I wear it suit, bueno, pero estos sí, son, es bueno, traje. sí, pero, sí, es el suit. Yo uso traje. Suit. What color is your uniform? Ah, eso me preguntó usted, ¿verdad? Perdón. Ajá, uh -huh. sí, sí. ¿Qué color Black. Es un... Black. What is your song, Dore, is favorite color? Favorite color green. Teacher. Hello, my dear. I'm here. Hola, hola. Hola. Is everything okay? Do you have questions? Tenemos preguntas? <clears throat> no, it is good. Uh, uh, you, you already finished? Ya terminaron? Yeah. Ok. Uh, were you able to ask each other? ¿Se pudieron preguntar los tres y los tres dieron sus respectivas respuestas? No, Teresa no, no pudo. No, no pudo. Ok. Entonces no. solo entre Ronald y usted, Kevin, ¿sí? Sí. Yes, teacher. Ok. But both of you were able to ask the, the questions. Uh, los dos pudieron responder, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Excellent. Wait for me a minute. So, espérenme un momentito, solo termino de hacer la ronda y les llamo a la plenaria. Ok? Thank, Thank you. you. You can continue practicing the last time. Pueden hacer una última práctica. Thank you very much. See you. Hello, hello. Everything okay? No, I don't wear a uniform. Oh, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, my dears. Hello, eh, Hola, teacher. Are you a, have you been able to practice, all of you? ¿Todos han podido practicar y responder a las preguntas o todavía falta un poquito? Eso estamos haciendo, ya, respondiendo. Ok, ok, you have like one more minute, un minutito más, so you can conclude, pueden concluir. Ok, see you later. See you, teacher. Uh,
Hello, welcome back. Hola, hola, bienvenidos. Teacher, tengo una duda. Adelante. En la, en la segunda pregunta, ¿cómo, se pre, ¿cómo sería si le pregunta a un hombre? How do you... Eh, how do you dress to go to work? Es lo mismo, ¿verdad? No, entonces, y la respuesta pudiera ser lo mismo. I wear formal clothes, ¿verdad? Y puede decir, I wear um, a long sleeve shirt, camisa manga larga, si eso fuera el caso. O puede decir, a short sleeve eh, shirt y describir un poco cómo se viste. O también puede responder, I wear informal clothes or casual clothes, porque hay trabajos que son más casuales, más informales, de, depending, right? Mm -hmm. Ok, teacher, thank you. So the, the difference is in the names, so in the vocabulary of the clothes. La diferencia está en los nombres de las prendas, ¿verdad? Yes. Y en el caso de los zapatos, pues es... Eh, Formal shoes, or you can say, um, for example, sneakers. Los sneakers son los famosos tenis, ¿verdad? Que nosotros decimos, pero en realidad los tennis shoes son zapatos especiales para ese deporte. Eh, normalmente los que nosotros llamamos tenis aquí aparecen como sport shoes eh, y los otros son business shoes. But I don't know if you can watch the screen. Aquí los tengo en la pantalla. No sé si eso aclaró la consulta, mi estimado. Sí, teacher. Ok, Thank perfecto. Ok, perfect. You're back. So, I would like to see who wants to start. ¿A quién le gustaría comenzar? Which team? ¿Con qué equipo comenzamos? Let's see, let's see. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver si el equipo de Manuel, Manuel Steam, el equipo de Manuel. Dígame. Eh, ¿Quién era su equipo, Manuel? No, eran dos. Mmm, a ver, dos hembras. Los compañ las compañeritas de Manuel. Dina Ofelia y Glenda. Ok, Dina y Glenda. Excelente. Uh, so, who would like to start? ¿A quién le gustaría comenzar haciendo las preguntas? Yo no las hago yo. Adelante, Manuel, comience. Solo diga a quién le va a preguntar, si a Dina o a... A Dina le voy a preguntar. Ok, adelante. Le voy a pedir a los demás si me ponen un ratito mute los micrófonos para poderle escuchar a ellos dos y luego hacen el cambio con, el, con la otra compañera. Ok, you can start now. Okay. Tina, what is your what is your favorite color? My favorite color is aqua. Okay. How do you address to go wear? I wear formal clothes, clothes like blouse and skirt. Okay. Uh, Ahora voy a preguntar yo. Do you wear a uniform? Ahora es para usted la pregunta, Manuel. Repítala, por favor. Do you wear a uniform? Yes, a uniform. My... Uh, I wear, I wear a uniform. I am wear a uniform. Okay. Uniform. I, I wear a uniform, excellent. And then what the next color is your uniform? My color is blue. What is your son's or daughter's favorite color? I am wearing a purple and green. The color my son, the favorite color is orange. My daughter, mm -hmm. my daughter, your favorite, favorite color is green. Okay, excellent. Her favorite color of your daughter is green. Excellent. Thank you, Manuel. Now, uh, vamos a pedirle a la compañera si le puede preguntar, eh, a, creo que era Dina, ¿verdad? Si le puede preguntar eh, a la compañera que acaba de participar. 
perdón, el nombre se me, se me, se me... Glenda. Glenda, ok. Dina, pregúntale usted a Glenda. No. Eh, Glenda, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. How do you dress to go to, go to work? I wear formal clothes like blue pants or blazer and dress. Mm -hmm. Do you wear a uniform? No, I I do not wear uniform. I wear a suit. A suit. 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 What color is your uniform? My uniform is blue. Mm -hmm. What is your song or daughter favorite color? My Son's favorite color is green, and my daughter's favorite color is orange. Excellent. Okay, very thank good. You. Thank you very much. Solo una palabrita para todos los participantes. Favorite. Esa palabrita nos cuesta a todos, pero es normal. Entonces, favorite. Porque eh, casi es igual que en español, ¿verdad? Solo una letra cambia. Entonces, eh, nuestro cerebro tiende a, a pensarla como en español, pero entonces tratemos de, de, de hacerlo eh, como en inglés. Favorite. Ok. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I would like to have a second team. Me gustaría tener un segundo y último equipo. Por el tiempo no nos va a dar para que todos participemos, pero por lo menos un equipo más y luego la última actividad que, que les quiero mostrar. Ok. So, who wants to? Vamos a ver. Let's see. Veamos, veamos. Volunteers. Vamos eh, a ver. Teacher. Adelante, Freddy. Freddy and Tim. Sí, eh, yo iba con Katy Ramírez y Griselda. Ok, Katy y Griselda. El mismo, eh, digamos, la mismo círculo para que puedan interactuar los tres. Ok, okay you decide who starts. Where is your favorite color, Freddy? I, okay, my favorite color is brown. How do you dress to go to work? I wear uh, blue jeans, yes. white shirt, uh -huh. and brown shoes. Okay, do you wear a uniform? Yes. I wear a uniform. What color is your uniform? Uniform. Mm -hmm. uh, the color of my uniform is white and blue. Okay. What is, what is your... What, wife, ¿Cómo se dice esposa? Él dijo que no tenía hijos. Wife, wife, favorite color. Your wife... Favorite color. Oh, no me acuerdo qué color me dijo. Uh, Ajá. Her favorite color is red. Ok, excellent. Thank you. Ok, who continues? ¿Quién continúa? Haciéndole las preguntas al, al siguiente compañero o compañera. El, siempre a nuestro grupo, ¿verdad, dicho? Sí, de la otra, el, el otro participante o la otra participante. Como, no, okay. como la compañera contestó, tal vez ella puede hacer las preguntas ahora. ¿Les parece? Ok. ¿Y a hacerlas yo las preguntas o dar las respuestas? Eh, ¿Quién no ha participado? Yo no he participado. Griselda. Adelante. Entonces usted, Griselda, eh, da las respuestas. Y la compañera que acaba de participar le pregunta. Ah, ok. ¿Cuál es tu favorite color? My favorite color is green. Ay, perdón, 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 el compañero contestó, ¿verdad? Sí, yeah. yo, yo me switché, disculpen, al compañero le toca preguntar porque él estuvo respondiendo. Okay. Okay. Perdonen, okay. adelante. Ok. 
What is your favorite color? My favorite color is green. Mm. How do you dress to, to work? Um, I wear uh, black jeans, a blouse, and boots. Do you wear a uniform? No, I do not wear a uniform. Okay. What color is your uniform? Eh, eso no aplicaría, ¿verdad? Sería, no, I don't wear a Sería uniform. No tengo. Mm -hmm. no tengo. Ajá. No, okay. I don't wear a uniform. Sí. Mm -hmm. What is your songs or daughter? Daughter. Daughter. Favorite daughter. Mm -hmm. daughter. Daughter's favorite color. Mm -hmm. eh, daughter's don't... favorite color. I don't have a son, daughter, and only daughter. Okay, I, I don't have a daughter, ¿verdad? Or I don't have children también. Si, si no tienen general niños o niñas, I don't have children. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tim. Uh, because of the time, uh, we won't be able to complete the, the participations of all teams, but thank you very much for the ones that did it. You did a great job by describing the way you go to work and how do you dress and what's your favorite color and what's your son's or daughter's favorite color. Recuerden que acá solo le voy a pedir que cuando utilicemos este posesivo, ¿verdad? Tenemos que hacerlo eh, la pronunciación bien completa para que se entienda que es un posesivo. Eh, la pregunta sería, what is your son's? ¿Verdad? Eh, no, ya sabemos que Eh, es un posesivo, ¿verdad? Cuando agregamos esa S en la terminación. What is your son's or daughter's favorite color, right? Favorite color. Y la otra palabra es uniform. Es como you, you, uniform. Do you wear a uniform? No, I don't wear a uniform. Okay, um, the last activity that I have for you, but it's going to be for home because we don't have enough time to complete it here is this um, completing section. It says, um, questions, where do you usually go shopping to buy new clothes and why? ¿A dónde usualmente va de compra para su nueva ropa y por qué? And then you complete the 15 sentences with the words on the left. So you have here vocabulary. We have nouns, adjectives, for example, buttons, cotton, extra large, feet, fitting room, jacket, jeans, jewelry, large, material, medium, price, size, small, zipper. And for example, number one says, how much do these shoes cost? What is that? Veamos. Eh, entonces ustedes buscan, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál creen que pudiera ser eh, la, 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 el complemento? Maybe to, to ask about the material. What is the material? ¿Cuál es el material, verdad? Could I please try on? Vea, cuando yo me voy a, a presto la ropa para medirme, la digo try on. Could I please try on this suit? Where is the? ¿Verdad? Estoy preguntando por fitting room. El, 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 cuart el cuartito, ¿verdad? El probador que llamamos en español, en inglés se llama fitting room. Where is the fitting room? ¿Ok? So, from number three on, del número tres en adelante, les queda a ustedes de tarea, ¿verdad? That, that's, your, your, that's your extra homework for, for uh, when you finish the platform exercises of this week, you can go to the material and you can complete it, right? So, I will, when I upload the material, you can download. Cuando yo les suba el material, ustedes lo descarguen y pueden completar, ¿verdad? And then the idea is that you can look for more vocabulary, and then uh, you look for the new words and then you try to repeat them uh, like four, uh, five times uh, in order that you can uh, memorize that. La idea es que puedan encontrar palabras nuevas, vocabulario nuevo, ¿verdad? Eh, y que lo puedan repetir, ¿verdad? Eh, recuerden que la meta es tres palabras diarias eh, until you get more, more vocabulary para que puedan eh, obtener más vocabulario. Do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí? 
Nothing. No? no? Okay, excellent. It has been a pleasure to be with you today here. So I hope to see you tomorrow and have a good night. Okay? Uh, Thank you. Best. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye.